In this video, we're going to talk about how we can create a Discord bot that automatically posts images into certain channels on your Discord in time intervals that you can define. I'm going to go ahead and run this bot one time so you'll get a bit of a better understanding of what we're going to be building. So on the left hand side, you can see my Discord server. We're in the channel called Experimental and that is the channel to which the bot is going to be posting the images. On the top right hand corner, you can see a MySQL database. And in this database, we are going to be saving the index of the images that we're going to be sending. Now, I'm going to go into more detail on that later on, but just know that we will need a small database that is going to save the images that have already been sent so that we don't send the same image twice. And on the bottom right hand corner, we have the script bot.php. Now what you will see is that as soon as I click on the bot.php, an image is going to appear in my Discord server. So let me run it one time and you can see an image has appeared. In addition to that, you'll also see that my database has been updated with two values. The zero over here is the index of this image as it is in my folder. So if I go ahead and open this in a new tab, you will see on the top there it says zero.png. And that is because we have posted an image with the index zero. Now the index one over here denotes the index of the next image which is going to be sent. So let me rerun my bot and you'll notice that we have another picture. And if we go inspect this one, you'll see that this one has the index number one. And we can refresh the script as often as we want. I've done it a couple of times and you'll see that each time we refresh, a new image is posted into our Discord server. The big advantage of using this bot is that it saves a lot of time. So if on one occasion you don't have time to post something into your Discord, the bot does this automatically for you without you having to do anything. The code to this bot is going to be linked down in the description right below the like button. So if you wanna go ahead and check it out, then make sure you do. And in this video, we're gonna go through the process of creating this bot and setting it up. And if you want to see this bot live in action, then feel free to join my Discord server. I am going to be leaving a link to it in the description down below. In order to make this bot work, there are going to be three steps that we need to go through. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to get a webhook from our Discord. The webhook is simply a link which tells our script where to post the image. The second thing we need to take care of is the database. This database is going to be really simple because all it stores is the index to the image, which is going to be posted the next time the script is run. In the description down below, I'll also leave a link to the SQL code, which is required to generate the tables that we're going to use. But we'll get to that later on. And the third and last step is actually going to be writing the script. And after these three steps, the majority of the work is going to be done. The last thing is going to be scheduling when this PHP script is run. So let's start with step number one. Over here, I have my Discord channel open. The link to it is going to be down in the description, so feel free to join. And I am first going to choose the channel in which I want to post the images. That's going to be the experimental channel that you can see down here. It's a private channel, so we don't disturb anybody. Now I am going to click on the edit channel uh, gear icon and go to integrations. Over here, you'll see a um, integration called webhooks and we can create a webhook. Then we will have one which is created automatically by default and we can change its name. We can also change the avatar image that pops up every time it posts something into the channel. And most importantly, you can also determine what channel the spot is meant to post to, but we're gonna leave it um, as it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this webhook URL and make sure to note it down because we're gonna use this one later. Now we're going to move on and take care of the data Database. So what you can see on screen right now is an empty MySQL database with no tables. We're going to go to the SQL tab and execute a simple statement that is going to generate the table that we need. The code that I have pasted in is also going to be available on my GitHub, but you can also type it up, it's very short. All that this code does is create a table which is called counter. And this table has two columns. The first column is called timestamp and the second column is called number. From the code, you can see that there are a couple of things that apply to each of these columns. The timestamp is of type date time and it is not null and it simply records the time of when an entry is made into the database. The second column number 
is an integer value and it is not null. And this integer value is simply going to be the index of the image which we want to post. On the bottom right, we can now press on go and the tables will be created. If we now open our newly created table called counter, you will see that it has two columns, the timestamp and the number. And that's all we need to do here. Now we can move on to the third step, which is creating the script. To begin, we're going to define a couple of variables, and that is the server name, the username, the password, and the database name. Now, all this information is confidential. That is why I'm going to blend it out over here and replace it with some placeholders, but just make sure that you do replace these placeholders when you're using the script. After defining the variables, we're going to create a connection to our database. The variable which is going to store the connection to our database is going to be called con. And to create this connection, we simply pass in the variables which we just defined above into the MySQLI function. Once that's done, we can create a small check, which is going to check whether or not the connection to the database has been established successfully. That is precisely what this top if statement does. If the connection returns an error, then we want the script to die and we want it to log the error. If, however, the connection is successful, then we echo connected successfully. Next, we need to set the index of the image which we want to post to our Discord server. And here there are two cases between which we need to distinguish. If we have not yet run the script and we're running it for the very first time, then we need to create an initial value in our database. And we're gonna set this initial value to zero. And afterwards, it sets the index of the image which is to be posted to zero. And the second case is if the script has already run a couple of times, we already have values in our database. And in that case, we want our script to take the highest value in this database and set the index of the image to be posted to this highest value. And that is exactly what the code in the else block over here does. Having said all this, you do need to make sure that the numbering of the images starts from zero. In the next step, we need to set the path of the image. And this is also where we include the index of our image. So we have some sort of path, then comes the index, and then comes the .png file type. So currently this script only allows you to post PNG images. You can also change that to JPEG or GIFs or whatever else. One thing that I haven't managed to implement yet is to make the script post an image regardless of its file type. If you do know how to do that, then please let me know in my Discord channel or in the comments down below. I would really love to know. Okay, after we've specified the path of the image, we can go ahead and post it to Discord. So this is exactly the place where we specify the webhook which we copied earlier in the very first step. You want to go ahead and paste it in here. Below that come a couple of CURL settings which you need to set in order to send the image. Then there are two last things that we need to do. First, we need to increment the index of the image which is to be posted next time. If we don't do this, then the script will post the same image the next time it is run. And once that's done, at the very end, we need to close the database connection. And that's it. That's all there is. That's the entire script. So now we can take this script and a folder in which we have images that are numbered starting from zero, and we can upload it to our server. To upload it to your server, you can use a program like FileZilla, or you can probably also do it over your host directly. Yeah, so let me know down in the comments below if you got this script to work, and I hope it helps you out. As always, see you guys in the next video.